All right, today we're diving into a robotics company that is moving so fast, it's making everyone stop and stare. And trust me, you're about to see exactly why. Okay, so let's just jump right into what's got everybody buzzing. We're talking about machines that can move with an agility that, honestly, it just doesn't look real. This is that moment where science fiction starts to feel a whole lot like science fact. You know, at these huge tech conferences, like CES 2026, you see a ton of cool stuff. But this year, the humanoid robots completely stole the show. And it was one company in particular whose creations were moving with a speed and coordination that was just, wow, mind-bending is the only word for it. I mean, their control and their performance were so good, people in the crowd were just constantly applauding. And the visitors were so blown away that they came up with the perfect nickname for it, the Bruce Lee of robots. And honestly, it fits. Yeah, and we're not just talking about a robot that can walk in a straight line, okay? We're seeing them do incredibly complex, dynamic things. I'm talking about boxing with real precision, dancing perfectly in sync, playing soccer. They're even running marathons. The range of motion they have is just staggering. So, you gotta ask, right? Is this all just an amazing tech demo made to go viral, you know, just for show? Or is there something much, much bigger going on here? Well, to figure that out, we have to look at the company behind these incredible machines. And that company is a Chinese robotics powerhouse called Unitree. And let me tell you, they are so much more than just a flashy trade show spectacle. They are an absolute force to be reckoned with in this industry. Okay, so here's where the business side of this gets really interesting. Look at this number. This shows you just how much power Unitree has in the market. See, before they started wowing everyone with these humanoids, they totally mastered the four-legged robot dog. And by 2024, they controlled a staggering 70% of the entire global market for them. That's not just big, that's dominance. And they did it incredibly fast. I mean, think about this timeline. The company was only founded in 2016. They put out their first robot dog just a year later. And by 2024, they're shipping almost 24,000 of them around the world. And now they're already pushing into the next frontier with these advanced humanoids. The pace is just relentless. And here is the absolute crucial point, especially if you're thinking about this as an investment. This isn't some startup just burning through cash, hoping to make it big someday. No way. Unitree is a real global business. Their annual sales are already over a billion yuan. And get this, half of that comes from international markets. But the real kicker? They're already profitable. That's a huge deal. So when you have that kind of success and that kind of market dominance, what comes next? Well, massive financial ambition, that's what. Unitree is now aiming for the big leagues, the financial world, and you can bet that investors are paying very close attention. So to really put this ambition into perspective, let's just look at the numbers. Okay, not that long ago, in July 2024, the company was valued at $1.7 billion. And hey, that's very, very respectable. But now, now they're getting ready to go public with an IPO, and they are not aiming small. Their target valuation is a whopping $7 billion. That is a massive, massive leap. And it just screams confidence in where they are now and where they think they're going. And that confidence, it seems to be backed up by some pretty serious strategic support. The founder of Unitree actually attended a very rare meeting with China's President Xi Jinping. Now, you don't have to be a political analyst to know what that means. It's a crystal clear signal of high-level government support for this entire industry. Okay, so let's pull back and look at the bigger picture for a second. Because Unitree's incredible rise isn't just happening on its own, right? It's not in a vacuum. It's actually a huge piece of a much larger and frankly, much more intense global tech race. These big tech shows, they're not just for showing off cool gadgets anymore. They've really become the modern battlegrounds where companies fight for tech supremacy. And all the reports coming out of CES 2026 are saying the same thing. The race to be number one in humanoid robots has turned into a really fierce three-way contest. So who are the main players in this high-stakes game? Well, it's companies from China, the US, and South Korea. Each country is just pouring money and resources into their top companies because they all want to be the ones to lead the next big technological revolution. Okay, so as these incredible machines get more and more capable, and as we start seeing them more often, it naturally forces us to ask some really big questions, right? What is their role in our world gonna be? Especially when you think about things like safety, ethics, and who's in control. 
You know, when people get scared, their minds often go to the worst case scenario. You know, the whole killer robots thing from the movies. But if you look at actual official policy, like this directive from the US Department of Defense, it's really clear. The goal is to design these systems so that humans, commanders and operators always have the final say and can exercise their judgment. But what's really interesting is that some military analysis actually flips that fear on its head. It's a bit counterintuitive, but this report suggests that because robots don't have human emotions, they don't feel stress or have prejudice or want revenge, a properly programmed machine might actually lead to fewer violations of the rules of conflict. Pretty wild to think about. And the logic behind that really comes down to what machines are good at. I mean, robots don't need sleep, they don't get bored, they don't get distracted, they can stay focused on a really dull or dangerous task with a level of precision that a human operator just can't match over long periods. So at the end of the day, as this technology just rockets forward, thanks to companies like Unitree and all its rivals, the most important conversations we're gonna have aren't really about the engineering. They're gonna be about the ethics, about policy, and about how we, as a society, decide we should use these incredibly powerful new tools. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. It really helps the channel grow. See you in the next video.